When I first heard about the project, I thought, what a great, cool idea. I mean, I've obviously loved doing Supernatural for six years now. It's a huge part of my life and a huge part of me growing up and who I am now. Um, and I've seen it now turn into book form, turn into comic form, um, and I've seen fans do like supernatural fan fiction kind of thing. Like it's kind of caught on in these weird little niches that you're like, oh, I never even knew that, cool. And so when I heard they were gonna wanna animate it, I was like, that's amazing. Like, of course, uh, I didn't know yet, having now seen it, I didn't know that they were that serious about it, that they were gonna do it that well. I thought it was like, South Park or something, like, hey, we're gonna get a cutout figure of you and move it around and like the mouth isn't gonna move when you talk, um, which I still would have been really excited about. But the fact that they've, um, that they've really come together and put together this phenomenal show that looks fantastic and sounds great and is really exciting um, is just so flattering for me to, to be a part of in some way, shape or form. Uh, I don't necessarily know of any specific titles. Um, I haven't watched anything particularly. I had a buddy who was very into it and he'd have it on and I'd watch bits and pieces here and there, but because it's so different, I never really took the time to sit down and devote myself to seeing a whole episode or a whole movie or something. But now having done it with the Supernatural episode, I feel like it's cool and exciting. I feel like now I, I understand what the draw is to anime and maybe I'll see some in the recent fu uh, future. I think, well, there are a bunch of reasons. I think if you were to properly tell a story in live action form, like you do in anime, I think it would cost, um, and you can kind of have a cool visual spin on it. And so I think it's a way to really see full blown what the story would be, um, but more approachable than trying to do it live action. <laughs> I think my anime character uh, has got me, um, has has got me pretty easily. He's a he's a pretty cool looking handsome dude. I was pretty excited. I was like, yeah, cool. That's what they're gonna make me look like. Done. Sign me up. Um, I'm really excited about it. Actually, it's a it's a great. It looks a lot like Sam Winchester did season one, um, which was five years ago. But it's it's great. Like I've seen pictures of me or Sam season one and been like. Oh yeah, that's pretty much exactly, in anime form, you know, like they square you off a little bit more and you're a little bit kind of sexier and better looking and you have better hair and stuff, but um, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool looking character, I'm happy. I don't know, I, it's, it's, a, it's a brand new horizon. I, I have no idea, I guess I'll get in there and just play it by ear. I mean, I know the character of Sam Winchester so well. I, I've been him for six years, so I'll just bring that, and I'm sure whoever is there running it will know a lot better than I do what I am and am not supposed to do, so I'll just listen to them and, and try and figure out what this is all about. I'm really excited to, to see it and watch it and see how it all happens. Um, and I'm really, I don't know, it's, it's something really cool. If you would have told me back when I was in high school that, you know, 12 years later I was gonna have an animated character worldwide, um, I would have called you a liar, but um, it's really cool to be in this position. I loved the first episode. It actually was really special to me because it was very uh, similar to an episode we had in season one called Skin, which has always been, I mean, now we're 110 episodes into the live action show and Skin is still in my top three or four episodes of all time. I just really love the dynamic of brother versus brother and who can you trust and who's lying, who's telling the truth and these brothers have to go at it and who's, who do they know if they're just fighting each other as humans and brothers or if one of them is actually, you don't know. I just love the dynamic of are you telling the truth? Are you lying? Who's lying? Who, I, I don't know who to trust. Um, and so I really loved that it was kind of based on a shapeshifter. Um, but I also saw certain throwbacks to there's a scene where Sam and Dean are kind of in a, in a college library looking thing, looking through uh, some security videos, and there's this cool like moonlight streaming in through the window, and it reminded me of a shot from our pilot. And then there's a scene in the sewer that reminded me from a shot of skin. And so there's some cool throwbacks to things that, that I recognized, um, but it was still kind of new and fresh. And so I thought, I thought it was 
amazing. I thought the, the detail was phenomenal and I thought it was a really cool, and I, I saw it in Japanese, so I didn't know what they were saying, but I still felt like I could understand the story and I, I felt kind of privileged because I, I could tell little throwbacks to the actual show. I mean, uh, I, I, I love the story of the shapeshifter and I love, I love that dynamic and I thought it was a really cool idea of how to, how to get an audience into our show and into the anime version of our show. Um, and I think it's so well how it can be done in anime because once again, you can draw the exact same person talking to each other. Whereas in, uh, in live action, if you're shapeshifted, then Jared has to come film the real Sam part talking to a piece of tape and then get a different mindset and go be the shapeshifter version of Sam talking to a piece of tape the other way back. And so it's like the, the, the technicalities of filming it are really kind of weird and wonky, but you can actually have two characters fighting themselves in the same scene. So that's another thing where anime is kind of a cool medium and a cool genre because you can just show that. Um, and in the future, I'd love to see uh, basically the rest of, of our demons and ghouls and zombies and vampires would be fun. Um, but to do the vampires properly, not the not the kind of pretty anemic vampires, but like the scary, rough, like been around for a thousand years vampires. Yeah, not the ones who wear eye makeup. Another one of the things I really appreciated about the anime series is that they've, they've darkened it a little bit and a lot of grays and kind of some shadow and some darker colors. And that helps with the horror genre and the thriller genre and the sci-fi and kind of keeping it scary and keeping it a little dark. Um, and in, the, in real life here in Vancouver, we're blessed by a curse of six months of rain between you know, October and April. So we're, we have sort of a gray show and it helps. And it's, it's just not quite as scary in the broad daylight as it is in like the nighttime with rain and shadows and moonlight. And so I love that they've taken advantage of, of uh, being able to control that in the anime. I dig it in the uh, yeah in the anime series. I love that they uh, I love that they kept Sam and Dean true to you know Jared and Jensen, and I love that they brought the Impala back. I mean, it's such a classic. It's such a part of our live action. It's almost like the third character on the call sheet. That uh, I'm glad that they kept it in um, in the anime version, and I love that it's it's strong and it's big and it's manly and it's uh, and it's and it's a welcome friend back in the anime. I do not know anything about Japanese gods and ghouls. I guess I'll learn from watching the anime series, which is kind of cool for me. It's going to be like a little learning experience. Uh, I, just, um, I just played a little joke on Misha, who plays the angel Castio. I, uh, I found his phone. <laughs> he, has a, he has an iPhone, you know, and we're here in Canada, but he has an American iPhone, and so... You can, call, you can call Canada or the States at the same cost because there's a North America plan, but if you text, it costs 50 cents every time you text. And so I found his phone um, on set. He had left it at craft service, like the food table, and he had no idea. And I was like, all right, Misha, I'm gonna teach you a little lesson. So I opened his phone up and I started texting myself. Um, so from Misha's phone, I was texting Jared's phone because I knew Misha would be charged like 50 cents per text. And so I typed out, one letter at a time I typed out, I really should keep better track of my belongings and stop leaving them at like the craft service table or something. So finally he was frantically searching for his phone and I was like, I was like, good news and bad news. I was like, the good news is I have your phone. The bad news is you're gonna see on your bill. Um, but then I realized, which was really idiotic, that uh, it costs 50 cents to send a text and it costs 25 cents to receive a text. And so the fact that I was texting myself as opposed to just texting some random number meant that you know, he's gonna be like 20 bucks extra for him, but it's gonna be 10 bucks extra for me. So it didn't really, I didn't really think that went all the way out, but I think my eyes got really big when I knew it was his phone. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get him. Uh, but now in the future, I'll, I'll do some thinking before I, I, I follow through. Yeah, really <laughs> that was kind of embarrassing. I think, uh, I really hope that anime supernatural can bring fans over into live action supernatural. I mean, I'm, I'm super proud of the show. 
Um, it's been a part of my life for six years now, and um, I hope we can bring some people into our world of live action. And all I can say is, is, is please come on over and that you won't see everything that you'll see in anime. You, you are benefited of having two guys with actual feelings. And you know that Jared and Jensen are actually going through it as Sam and Dean. And anime is great for the action and for the feeling and for the scare um, and for a bit of the gore and the violence and the fun of that. But for the sort of character feeling and to really get to know Sam and Dean better for the anime, it might be worth checking them out in live action to see what these guys are, are all about when, it's, when they're being acted by actors.